everything. I hope you're having a great day. Let's kick things off with a nice stretch. I'm going to put one hand behind my back. I'm going to use my other hand to just tilt my neck to the side. Bring the ear towards the shoulder. Hold a few more seconds. Gently release. Let's go to the other side. You, but I don't take enough time to stretch, so I'm glad we're doing it right now. Release that hand, both hands behind your back, clasping your hands, sticking your chest up because you're so proud, and holding it here. If you're feeling extra lumber, you can slowly forward fold, but you do not have to do that. Slowly come on out of it, release your hands, clasp your hands in front of you, stick your palms out and round your back. Sort of like a standing cat cow. Meow. And release that. Let's have our legs wider than shoulder width. Let's lean to the side. My legs are straight. Reaching through that side body. Come back to standing, slowly go to the other side. Reaching. We're going to come back to standing. We're going to rotate. We're going to get into a high lunge, bringing that back leg, uh, keeping it straight. I'm trying to bring that heel towards the ground, stretching the calf. You can hold on to the wall or whatever nice pressure you want for support. From here, we're going to get a little lower in that lunge. We're going to step that leg back, trying to sink those hips down. And if you want, you can have your hands on either side of the foot, and dropping that back leg lower if that's comfortable for you. From here, drop the back knee, straighten the foot. You're going to lean back, flex the foot, forward fold, stretching the hamstring. As you're doing the stretch, do a little self-check with your body. How are things feeling? Are some things tight? Are some things not as tight? Are you feeling good? Are you feeling bad? Let's walk, slowly walk to standing. Hands close to the feet, bend and slowly come up. Okay, from there, step the other foot forward, heel back, slight lunge to stretch the calf. Again, trying to get the heel as close to the ground as you can. You may not be able to get all the way down, that's okay. Here, step that back leg back more, straight leg, sinking the hips. Hands can come down if you want, lower those hips more, stretching the hip flexor. And now back knee comes down, top of the foot on the ground, forward fold. Straight leg, flex foot. From here, you're slowly going to walk. Come down to a crouch and slowly raise for three, two, and one. You can hold on to the wall, grab one foot, line up the knees, push the hips forward, standing tall. I like to make this a balance challenge too. I feel fancy today. We're going to release the foot and crouch down into your figure four, stretch the glute. Oof. Let's go to the other side. I'm going to turn around just because, again, knees together, hips forward. We 
release the leg, figure four, cross down, stretch the glute. And we're going to put our feet wide of the shoulder width. Just lunge to the side. I have my hands on my hips. You can have them dangling if that's fun for you. Whatever you want to do. Let's go to the other side. Stretching that inner thigh. Extend that knee. Core fold, interlock your hands and elbows, sway side to side, stretch your lower back out. From here, your hands go on the ground. You walk your feet together, you slowly come down. I am going to lay down on the ground. My hands are overhead, my feet are together. I'm going to press my hands into the ground, lifting my shoulders. I'm going to come in. My hands are going to go on either side of my head. My feet are going to go shoulder width apart. I'm going to press up again. I'm going to cobra seize. And if you want, you can either stay here, you can have your hands a little bit lower, and press up one more time. You slowly come down, scoot your knees in, coming up onto your hands and knees. Your right hand is going to move forward, you're going to bend the hips, pressing that hand into the ground. My favorite series, arm series, I do it all the time. You're going to come up, the hand goes in line with the left. You're going to do the same thing, stretch the lats. Come on up, thread the arm through, come down. Come on up, let's switch hands. The left hand goes forward, bending down. Come on up, left in line with the right, bend again. Come on up, thread through. Come back to quadruped, lean back. We're going to go into child's pose. You're going to place your left hand on top of your right. You're going to press, feeling that stretch through your side body. Left hand goes back to where it was. Now the right hand goes on top. Right hand returns, sitting back as far as you can, child's pose, actively pressing your hands into the ground. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed today's stretch. Thank you so much for joining me. There will be more videos, one for every day of December. I hope to see you again soon. Until then, take care. Love you. Bye.